Hey everybody, my name is Tom Tullis. This is the Tomb of 3D Printed Horrors. And today we're going to take a look at me making a mistake building an Ender 3 V2. Um, what happened was I built this machine, got everything set up, got the bed leveled, and probably every one out of three prints, the bed would go, the Z offset would go out of alignment and what i mean by that is i'd do a couple of prints and i'd get a perfect first layer and then i'd get a print where when the z-axis homed and it began printing the first layer it was actually a little too high about a tenth to two tenths of a millimeter uh and then it was so much so that it made the first layer not want to adhere very well i had a lot of failed prints and it would do this, like I said, every maybe every third print, sometimes every other print, but then I'd get a perfect print out of it without adjusting it. And I went round and round with this machine, and I finally figured out what it was. The mounting plate for the Z-axis limit switch was slightly um, rotated. And it's it only takes a little bit of rotation on this thing, uh, to introduce this error where it won't reliably trip the Z limit switch at the same point each time. And what I had done was I had it kind of, if you're looking at it from the side here in this illustration, and this is over exaggerated just so you can see it, but it's rotated clockwise when I tighten uh, the two T nuts. Uh, and I didn't apply even force at the top and bottom of the mount, so it was slightly skewed like this. And that's what was causing the problem. So I went back and uh, remounted the plate and applied force uh, at the top and bottom while tightening the T-nuts, and that fixed it. Problem went away. Um, but this is just something I want to make sure everybody is aware of. I've built, I think this is my seventh Ender now. Uh, plus, I've done some for friends and stuff. I've never had this problem, so it never occurred to me that this would be an issue. Um, my thinking was, even if this was off a little bit, it should still trip the switch at the same point each time, which, you know, would not create this issue. But apparently having it slightly skewed at an angle is what was doing this, because the problem went away as soon as I remounted the limit switch. So this is just something to be aware of if you are consistently having issues with your first layer. If it's printing fine a few times and then goes out of whack without you touching it and then goes right back to printing fine... This might be it, so take a look at it. It's easy fix, just loosen the two T-nut screws, um, apply forward force on it is my recommendation, not rearward, uh, and make sure it's perfectly uh, vertical and then tighten them up and that should resolve your issue. Once you've done this, you will need to go back and re-level your bed. So anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Please click that like and subscribe button.